What's up? This is Lopez from Broken Flesh. Uh, I'm here to talk about my gear rundown. Um, first of all, with my cymbals. I'm a really big fan of the Sabian AAX series. Uh, machine hammered cymbal, B20 bronze. Uh, I've been following Sabian for, for many, many, many years. Uh, back when I was uh, young and following Vinnie Paul around and uh, that guy played Sabian. I think he still does. So. I've got a 20 inch AX on uh, each side here. Uh, one's an explosion, this one's a stage. So this one kind of has a nice medium tone. This one's a little brighter, so it's more kind of for accents. I've got a uh, AA Metal X crash, and this is over my hi hats uh, to catch for a quick choke. Um, I have three Chinas. I've got a uh, VA Pro. I have an XS20 and then finally an AAX in the middle and I really enjoy the coloration, the different tones, uh, mixing and matching in songs. Uh, no matter where I'm at on the kit, I have a china and uh, I think I need about five more so I'm working on that. For the hi-hats, I've got, uh, these are actually uh, A Custom, uh, just regular 14 inch A Custom hats and then I have a uh, Z3 Mega Bell Ride, and uh, you know, uh, maybe someday soon I'll be sponsored. Until then, I'm just going to play what I get a good deal on. And, you know, I'd love to be sponsored by Sabian. Hint, hint. <laughs> so, uh, as far as the the drums that I'm playing, if you want to bring the camera over here, I'm playing uh, Tama Silver Star Birch. These are a really thin birch shell. So the thin drums give me a really low fundamental pitch. Uh, it's birch, so birch kind of has a naturally focused sound. Uh, they mic up well, they've got really good low end. It's everything I wanted in a cool, affordable double bass kit that I can take out on the road and put it through a lot of wear and tear. Uh, snare drum, I'm rocking a uh, Tama SLP, the black 8x14 black steel and uh, this is one of the, my favorite drums I've ever owned and I've owned a lot of cool custom drums and and they sounded great but this drum is it's uh, it's a thin steel shell so it has the, the low pitch of a thin shell but it's made out of metal so it still has a cut and it's still bright so it's kind of like right in the middle and with the extra depth of the shell I can tune the snare head kind of high and still have a little bit of uh, like hit you in the chest from the from sh the sheer air movement of the larger size. So uh, kicks, I got two 22 by 18s. I've got 10, 12, 16. Um, I use a uh, hi hat to bass bass drum attachment clamp for my hi hat, which it only falls on me about once every 10 shows. <laughs> And uh, when it does, coincidentally, it will rip my in-ears out. Um, this is my Roland TD3 module. And uh, you can see that there. It's kind of an outdated module, but it's very reliable. And always on the module, I've got an extra drum key, Allen keys for my pedals. So I'm only running two triggers. I'm running a left and a right kick. And then I have a cable going to my DI box, which runs straight into the PA system. At a lot of shows, I'll just tell the sound guy to give me the bass drum microphone cable, and I'll plug it into my DI box, and that's all he has to know, and he can just mix the tone. Um, which leads us to my bass drum pedals. So I'm using uh, Axis pedals. I love, love, love Axis. They are my favorite drum pedals. Um, even when I was young and could not afford them, I lusted after them. And uh, as soon as I could, I bought some. What I love about these the most is uh, it's a direct drive pedal and it's got a uh, variable cam. So I can move this up and down and it feels like I've got about five different pedals in one. Every quarter of an inch is a huge difference. Um, here I also have the E-Kit, which Axis makes. The beauty of the E-Kit is that I can tune my kick drum loosey-goosey and I can get a sweet microphone tone from the sound guy. Plus, I can have perfect triggering because this little beater here makes contact 
and I can set that to where it lines up exactly when my beater hits the actual bass drum head on the drum. You can even probably hear that a little bit. So these pedals are about 10 years old and they've been through hell and back and uh, they still work. All I gotta do is go through and uh, sometimes you gotta lube up the bearings, tighten things up, but definitely the best pedals out there for extreme drumming. So I think that's it. Uh, hope to see you all out of the show soon, and uh, you guys have a great night. God bless.